Hi guys, I know that you have been hearing about the word gonorrhea, gonorrhea, gonorrhea. And I would like to tell us a lot of things on this video about gonorrhea. How gonorrhea comes about. How will you know if your body has contacted gonorrhea or not? And also, do you really think that gonorrhea is just made for only the guys alone that it doesn't have anything to do with you, the ladies? Well, if this is your first time on my channel, I am Pharmacist God's Gift and you're welcome to this channel where I give information on health matters and also drugs. And if you're a returning viewer, I say thank you for coming back for more. Okay, come on, let's settle it out. Let's go learn or get some great information about gonorrhea and also how to treat this gonorrhea except when you come across it let's slide on so when it comes to sexually transmitted diseases we also talk about gonorrhea and gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that is caused by a microorganism that is called the, the necessary gonorrhea anyone who is sexually active or anyone who is not a virgin that have sex frequently can come up with gonorrhea and this disease gonorrhea can be very dangerous to your health if not well treated with the right medication and also right on time any person that has oral sex vaginal sex or anal sex is at very high risk of coming up with this gonorrhea that is if they have unprotected sexual intercourse with one that already have this gonorrhea gonorrhea can occur in both the male and the female so i want you to delete that uh, thought in your mind that says that gonorrhea does not occur in the female no it's a sexually transmitted disease if a female go have unprotected sex with a male that has this gonorrhea she too is at high chances of coming up with gonorrhea and also for the pregnant women the pregnant women too can easily come up with gonorrhea because of low immune system and also when the pregnant women come up with gonorrhea and they do not treat their gonorrhea on time they can easily transmit this gonorrhea to the baby during childbirth that is why we always advise those pregnant women to go see their antenatal doctors if they are feeling any slight pains or any signs of gonorrhea so that we use the right medication to treat that gonorrhea so that at childbirth or during delivery that gonorrhea will not transmit to the child i know you'll be thinking it's only sexual intercourse but in the case of the child and the mother it doesn't have to do with sexual intercourse now to the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea before then let me answer that first question that i asked do you think that it's only the guys that comes up with gonorrhea well as i've previously said it comes in both parties but the only problem is that the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea can stay dominant in some female for a long period of time it's not as easy as that of the male the male when they have gonorrhea it's the signs and symptoms just start showing up that is why most persons think that gonorrhea does not occur in the female. But it occurs in the female. It's just that those signs and symptoms does not manifest easily or quickly as it does for the male. This is even very bad for the female because if they don't detect the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea easily, it can cause a lot of problems. And also for the male too, it has some negative effects in the future if they don't treat this gonorrhea on time. Some of the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea are one, a yellow discharge from the penis. When the male is urinating, you will see that yellow discharge from their urine. And also, secondly, they can have very painful urination. They will be urinating and feeling that burning sensation in their penis. That, that is another sign to show that the male or the female has contacted gonorrhea. And also, another one is that they will be itching in your vagina area or also in the penile organ both the male and the female they are also used to be this uh, incomplete urination that is you want to go to the toilet or the bedroom frequently 
let me say you just urinated right now immediately after five minutes you want to use the uh, toilet again and after you finish urinating it will be as if you have not completely emptied your bladder and that bladder will full up back immediately that is to show that the microorganism nesera gonorrhea has affected your body it has affected your bladders so the bladders cannot completely remove all the urine from the body that is just what happens when it comes about infection with this gonorrhea another again in the female is that there will be bleeding in between periods your period will not be that normal you will see some slight bleeding in between period and also your discharge will be heavy very heavy yellow color discharge from the vagina that is to show that you have come up with gonorrhea in the body other signs and symptoms of gonorrhea can also be redness or swollenness in the vagina and in the penile region and also a very smelly discharge that too can be a sign of infection or a sign of gonorrhea in the body but all this can also be signs of another microorganism that is infecting the body so that i always advise my clients to always go for a test let's know the exact microorganism that is affecting you because sexually transmitted diseases have similar kind of symptoms and this will help us to choose the right medication to treat you so you can have a healthy body that you will be smiling always now it's good you've got to know what gonorrhea is all about the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea and also how gonorrhea is being transmitted now i would like to tell you how you can prevent that gonorrhea the, the simple way to prevent gonorrhea is to use latex condom use condoms when you are having sexual intercourse with your partner and secondly stick to one partner know the status of your partner treat your partner if you know you are just meeting your partner go for laboratory investigation treat your partner and learn to stick to one partner so that you won't go get sexually transmitted diseases because gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease it's not a toilet infection or you think you go to sit in the toilet and you get gonorrhea no it has to do with sexual intercourse now let's look at some treatment option since gonorrhea is caused by a bacteria which is called the natural gonorrhea the first thing we advise to do is to go to the lab to carry out one or two tests to know exactly the microorganism that is causing that infection don't just think that because i'm feeling these signs or these symptoms that the pharmacists have mentioned so i'm having gonorrhea no because there are other organisms too that can cause the same signs and symptoms and from there if we know that it's gonorrhea we are going to give you a good combination of antibiotics that is going to either kill inhibit its growth or destroy the microorganism totally from your body finally untreated gonorrhea can cause a lot of issues it can cause atopic pregnancy it can cause infertility issues atopic pregnancy in the sense that the pregnancy will not occur in the womb rather it will occur outside of the womb and also untreated gonorrhea or sexually transmitted disease can cause long-term abdominal pain finally untreated gonorrhea can make you prone or increases the chances of one coming up with other sexually transmitted diseases like hiv hepatitis and the rest i know you've learned a lot about gonorrhea and you've known something wonderful about gonorrhea today now i would love you to like this video yes give this video a thumbs up click on the subscribe button and also put that notification bell on so you'll be the first to get notified on any of my new video that i'll be uploading every time don't forget to share this video to order you just put your genuine comments in the comment section which other topic do you think we should talk about that we should relate about put your comment right there thank you for staying tuned till the end please don't forget to come back for more bye